I don't suspect there's anyone around here. But you never know. And as I said before, I left the music on to try and try and make the game a bit more immersive because that's really what this game's been lacking uh, for me lately since the good old days, the glory days. <laughs> um. Okay, I think we're coming up on some sort of castle. Top of the hill. I'm not entirely sure. We're trying to move around slowly. Check out this area. I mean, it seems like it might be a good place for tents. If you were gonna place it, place them anywhere, you might place them here. Probably safe to just go have a look. If I was going to do tents around this area, I mean, this would be a decent place. I mean, I know the forests are quite dense, but you'd always get new spawns running north, like me. Might run into them. Doesn't appear to be anything here. Have a quick look around. Nothing. See my old guy. Wow. Nothing. You hear a, a lot of uh, what you think is twigs being trodden on in the forest. Ignore that, it's a uh, scripted game sound. Took me a while to find that out. But yeah, there's no need to worry. The only sounds you'll hear in a forest that you know there's a player is either gunshots or the feet sound, which you can hear right now as I'm running. Okay guys, I wanted to show you the key part about surviving here. As you can see I, can, I found a little bit of a, a lake and a bit of a dam. What we're going to do is, I'm going to fill our water bottle up. I'll show you how to do it, it's pretty easy. It's also one of the coolest parts of the game is the water. You're going to go down to the water. And on some public servers if you go into the water you can lose your gear. So. You only want to be about up to your ankles in the water. So that will do. You want to hit G for your inventory. And see, I've got a full water bottle right now. I'm going to drink it. And I'll replace it with a with an uh, empty one. What you want to do is you want to right click it. And you want to hit fill water. And you should do some sort of animation, perhaps. There we go, you have filled one water, one water bottle. So if you press, press G, see it's full again now. And that, having just a water bottle like that can just remove the need to have any cans of drink on you. I'm not going to throw away mine. Uh, just in case I don't get near a lake or anything. But if you, you know, if you can successfully navigate to it, a water pump or something similar every time you get thirsty then you'll be able to survive a lot longer. Uh, another thing about armor is you'll notice you probably can't see particularly well on this. The clouds will always head towards east so if you uh, ever see the clouds you see which direction they're moving and you'll know they're going east so you can navigate north, west or south just from seeing that. Also, of course, the sun rises in the east, which is down there. That's where the clouds are going. Down there, east. Uh, so, if you look at the time now, it's uh, s just half past seven. The sun will be around 
this direction. So later in the day, it'll be over there. Just simple techniques. Okay, so this is the first town we're coming into now. Uh, it's got a supermarket now. That is an addition that the admins have added to this map. Doesn't let it load in. Doesn't seem to be any zombies around there. So, as I said before, I'm not sure I said it in the last video. But that means there's no no one's been here. No one's been through here. Um now essentially looking at this town is a now it's gonna be a risk assessment. Well do I have ammo? Do I have enough supplies to survive? And the answer to that is obviously yes. I've got plenty of medical supplies, I've got raw meat to get my blood up, I've got food, I've got water, I've got ammo, I've got two guns, I've got a map. The only thing I could possibly get over there is a compass, which I don't need because we can navigate using the clouds and whatnot, so I'm gonna opt to go around the town. The question is which is the safest route and I opt for the closest one on our right. The roads are always a uh, more dangerous place because obviously people use them to navigate so people always come back to the roads but also in terms of zombies uh, when you walk on them you'll notice your sound and your and your visibility will go up as you see there start walking it's really loud compared to on the grass obviously crouching makes less noise as well obviously not to humans though if there was a real player around here you could have seen me just keep an eye out you've always got to take risks like this anyway I'm trying to st stick to the tree line or in between trees so I see a dense forest over in this direction so I'm going to head towards that and then head north from there ok so where I suspect that I am now is heading potentially up this road which will lead us eventually to Goglovo so when I get to I'm just going to follow it on the left hand side through the trees eventually heading north far enough up a rocky surface I'll see Goglovo on my right to the east and then I'll know the main road will lead me to Novi Sobor and then into Stari Sobor obviously I don't want to follow the main road because any cars going by and whatnot could easily come and get me <laughs> or pick me out I could also try and take their vehicle but it's likely if there's a vehicle they won't be alone I for one wouldn't travel alone ok so we've reached Guglova and this road will lead straight up to Novi Sobor so at this point I want to avoid this town and head up a little bit try and get some vantage point on the tents when we do eventually get to Starry this is the point where this might get a little dangerous as oh he's fucking seen me ok now, <laughs> now I have to teach you how to lose a zombie it's annoying that as that is. And I could shoot him but I don't want to shoot and other players to hear it. That's one thing I really don't want. Leave it out. Oh, I sound terrible. I think he's hot on my tail still. Oh. And there we go. He's lost line of sight of me. And he's bored. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you lose a zombie. 
So after the server restart, um, there's a crashed helicopter over there, which spawn on after server restarts, and it's been about ten minutes since the server restart. So I'm suspecting that no one's been here yet, and I think it's worthwhile just getting over there and getting out, checking out what loot is spawned. I mean, if the loot is good enough. There won't be a need to go to Starry Sobor, which is a good enough reason for me to have to get around these zombies here. Pretty well equipped right now, but I wouldn't mind having a, a very good weapon. I could also fit a second in my backpack if I needed to. Rabbit in the field. Fucking zombies. See down there, so no be so So this area will be crawling with people eventually. Which is exactly what I don't want right now. This is the type of thing where or loot spawn rather that you sh definitely should risk everything to go for. Eh? I mean, if you can check out the loot before you get near it with binoculars or something, that would be a good idea. But uh, the military zombies haven't spawned yet, and so I doubt there's any loot spawned yet, so I'm going to have to get closer to make the zombies spawn around it. Okay, at this point we're, we're going in at this point, so we want to really check out everything. Let's check out that tree line on the far side. We'd be in a really bad position if uh, there was someone around here anyway. I could fire upon them but Zombies there, but they've probably just spawned from me. Fucking zombies. Okay, that zombie at risk of him seeing me, so we're going to crawl a little bit. Get closer to the chopper. Okay, there you see the military zombies have spawned. Okay. Slowly but surely. Ah, there's a bike right there, you see that against the shed? That'll be your getaway. By crawling over to this, the zombies will branch out from the chopper, so... that give us some space to manoeuvre. That bike is all too conveniently placed. sound according to the visuals in the top right. Are we gonna cross paths now? No. Seem good for now. I'd love to get rid of this AKM for something good. I'm gonna put a bet on there being an FN FAO. Please don't. Oh no. That AKM is worrying. Oh, there we go. That's what I want. It's a loud gun, but it does a lot of damage. Please back off. Back off, bro. Back off. 
Just back the fuck up. So just be an FNFL. <laughs> AKM with all those mags. Something I should switch back for the FNFAL. Okay, I'm not making any noise or visuals, so. I mean, that's a lot of ammo for uh, my new gun. But for that blank. <laughs> Fuck this. You know what, that barn might be a better place to bandage up. I'm gonna go for that. Then I can get down the road but the zombies are still gonna follow so... This M14 is really good. It's got great range on it. I mean the AK is versatile and I'll, I could have had all that ammo but it's not really what it's all about. I probably won't survive to long enough to <laughs> shoot all that ammo. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna bandage. What the fuck are all these zombies <laughs> doing? Jerry can. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Let's, let's bandage. Let's be let's be calm about this. Okay. Am I going to need to start taking out zombies? It might be the case that I I'm going to have to. Zombies are pretty easy to outmaneuver inside a barn. Derpy, I must admit. Uh, is he coming back around for me? Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. He's going up. This could be our opportunity to get out of here. Okay, this would be the opportunity I was looking for. And we're out. Sort of. As <laughs> I said, sort of. I'm going to try and lose the majority of the horde. Oh. Oh, shut the fuck up, bro. I need to reassign his keys. Okay. That's a pretty good headshot, I must admit. Chicken crossing the road over there. Oh, come on, back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. I could turn and shoot, but as. As was earlier, I didn't want to give away positions, so do the same now. Okay, we're gonna hopefully just ride up, get away from this zombie. Come on, get back on the bike. Give me the option. Woohoo! You ain't getting me. You ain't getting me. Okay, right, so we know no VSO boys down there. <laughs> so we want to be careful about this escape. Right off into the sunset. 